so much water about, maybe you'd like to see how umbrellas are made. Well, here's the shaft or stick being turned out for the fitting of the head or handle. And nice people always hold with a good handle. A groove is cut in the shaft to take the spring that holds the frame in position when the umbrella is closed. And it isn't only in the spring, it has been known to rain in the summer too. While he's fixing the spring, we're reminded of the girl who complained that it was raining cats and dogs and then stepped into a poodle. It's made firm by means of a rivet. The ribs fit into a collar at the bottom and a sleeve at the top, which shows you how different umbrellas are from human beings. The sleeve really does two jobs at once. It makes a hinge for the ribs from the shaft and secures the ribs of the cover. And here, so to speak, are the wakes. For the cover today, fancy oilskins are first favourite and these are cut out in segments by a special tool. The pieces of material are sewn together, care being taken to preserve the pattern. You can be sure the flowers won't be long without water. So a complete floral masterpiece is mounted on the wire frame. Any creases or folds in the fabric are smoothed out in a sort of steam bath over a triangular iron. Finally, the ferrule, glued on and hammered home. There are umbrellas to match every style of dress, and whatever the occasion, you can be as right as rain. And now a moment of